Good morning guys, it's about time to head to the studio. It's already 9... 9.30. I had quite a long phone call with Apple. I'm still waiting for the new iPhone and I'm trying to get my old iPhone repaired to be able to sell it. But now let's go. Seems like fall has finally arrived. The good thing about it, no more heat problems here in the studio. And I finally got this package I've been waiting for quite some time. It's something from Apple, but not the iPhone 7. It's the Magic Trackpad. So this is my old trackpad and it has this one problem that one of the buttons here is always falling off and without it it's moving when you try to click and you can't actually click and this is bothering me already for more than two weeks it's really annoying i tried to glue it together a couple of times but it doesn't help the new trackpad doesn't have it it doesn't mechanically click anymore it just has something in it this taptic vibrating engine that kind of lets you feel that you've clicked i'm not sure if this is something that i like but I will give it a try, at least for today. It's almost impossible to open up these boxes. What I already like is that it looks a lot cooler. The entire surface is usable for navigating and clicking. The old one needed battery. The new one just has built-in batteries and is charged over the lightning port. So no more batteries. I had to get new ones for this old trackpad every week almost. But I have to admit I'm using it more than you should. Only little downside is it doesn't fit anymore to the style of my keyboard. This is an older Apple keyboard with a cord. The wireless one doesn't have a numpad and I definitely need it to work with logic. So the first clicks are already quite fascinating. You can click wherever you want and it feels good. With the old one you could almost only click in the bottom half and the top was really not usable anymore and it feels like a real click. I can't make any difference so Apple did a great job emulating this click feel into this trackpad. Let me try it out, make some music and then I will let you know more about it. Done with the testing, it's really awesome. I already know that the old one won't be used anymore. What I really like is you can choose how hard you have to press for a click. And what I like even more is that you can make the click silent. That's the normal clicking sound. And the silent one compared to the old one. For most people this might not be important, but if I have a vocalist in here recording vocals, this microphone is picking up anything and having a trackpad that doesn't make a whole lot of noise and I can still use logic while somebody else is singing is a big advantage. The biggest new feature is force touch. If you press the trackpad a little bit harder, it opens up new commands. Also for logic, I will show you all of them. But now Gordon is coming. We have to work a little bit on another project. Gordon is visiting Hi. me with Brutus. How are you, dip, Brutus? Dip, 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 dip. Quite fine. I think he has missed me. Absolutely, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. I think a month. Yeah, sort of. Come on, entertainment. We are working again on the radio thing. Yeah. Can we say now which radio station no. is? Still, still not. Still not, sorry. Still a secret. <laughs> okay. Dog is making trouble. Small troublemaker. Yeah. Rubber dog. He has a lot of stuff that he can find on the floor. <laughs> There's always some food and confetti. Whoop. What are you doing? There's someone else that also likes Lipton iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> While we're working, Brutus will entertain you. Not yet. 
That's what Brutus made. It's now getting dangerous, so we have to take away his toy. Okay, Brutus is done relaxing and chilling. We're yeah. also done with work. Now, did Perfect. you already have lunch? Uh, no. So let's, something to eat. let's go for lunch. Perfect. The lunch wasn't the healthiest, but now back to work and also showing you the new force touch features in Logic. Force clicking onto this empty area opens the dialog box for new channels. In an empty track it creates MIDI regions. At the top you create new markers. It lets you rename regions quite easily. On a track header it activates the automatic zoom and also deactivates it again. Force clicking in the piano roll deletes notes and you can also draw them with the force click. On an audio channel it opens up the import section. I'm already a big fan of using shortcuts. Everything that helps me to be quicker and more efficient with my work is very welcome. This force touch technology is just another way to be a bit quicker but it really needs to be implemented more into logic. The functions that I showed you are all that I know so far. I would love to see it also on the plugins and the third-party plugins, but this will probably take some while. Okay, now back to working on the track, maybe two to three more hours and I should be done with it, for today at least. It's now 8.15, another 10 hour day in the studio. And if you're wondering why I'm using a trackpad and not a mouse, just look at my wrist. Everything here is every day, every second of my life red since I started making music. And back in the days where I used a mouse, it was a lot harder, a lot more pain. I switched to a trackpad, now a lot less force is on my wrist. Because usually when you move the mouse around, you push even more onto the table to pick it up and move it a bit. With the trackpad you just move your finger so it's already a lot better but I should still probably buy something to make it softer for my hand. The old trackpad goes back to Amazon, it still has warranty so hopefully getting my money back. One of the major downsides of fall, it's 8.30 and look how dark it is. So we have to take away his toy. Crazy dog. Mm. I know he's, he's looking very sad. You owe me 25 cents. <laughs>